I'm glad it's here. There's uh, going through the bye week and having bye week practices. It's always good to refine some skills and and and, and things of that sort. But game weeks are always different. You know what I mean? And, and and us having our first practice this week, it's everybody's excited to kind of get back going and uh, get back in the groove of things. So no such thing really as a bye week because the bye weeks are actually harder for you. Than <laughs> yeah. Well, our first one was pretty difficult. We toned down a little bit this one, but I mean at the end, we, we still got all of our fundamental work done. We still got a lot of teamwork done, and I think we got better as a team. What'd you do Saturday? Saturday? Well, uh, <laughs> my girlfriend kind of took over my weekend, so we <laughs> we went. Uh, I met kind of with her. Uh, used to that, by the way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I met with her. I met with her. Uh, met her brother and uh, brother's wife, son, and then we went out to one of her friends' house. So it was an eventful weekend. Apple picking. <laughs> no, actually not. Did you, did you get a chance to watch much college football? Yeah, actually we did. Saturday, um, a bunch of the receivers went over to uh, Coach Smith's house, and we were just sitting there eating around, watching watching football, the games that we could before I had to take off. But, I mean, it was – it's it's always good to go back and watch some football because I mean that's I mean that's what I've always done my whole life and especially in high school me and all my buddies and in high school we would always sit down on Saturdays and watch college football games and then it's it's always good and relaxing to do that but on the same token you kind of wish you were out there playing again so what's it like Evan being at Ohio State and sort of being I mean obviously there's a lot of football left to play though mm-hmm. this season, but at least right now being on the outside looking in I mean you don't no one's talking about Ohio State being as part of this 14 plan. Mm-hmm. What's that like? Is that different for you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's different. Um, I mean, we, we obviously had our struggles early on in the season, and and um, I, I think we've done really well to correct the, the struggles that we've had early on. But um, it, it, it's weird, but at the same time, we know that we got to go out and beat Rutgers and then take one game at a time. And then if, if things happen to where we, we, we are, one of the teams considered, then uh, more power to us, I guess. But at the same time, we know that we got to get out and get better every week. And if we do that, and we when we're lucky enough to get in the in the playoff, I know that uh, we're competitive enough, and we, we want it enough that um, we'll we'll succeed in whatever we uh, try to put our minds to. Evan, did you uh, watch Mississippi State at all? They played Auburn. Auburn. Yeah, I did can, get to see that game. Yeah. Can you imagine a hundred? 10,000 Ohio State fans ringing cowbells. <laughs> I was wondering the whole time I was watching that game, I'm like, what is that sound? And I couldn't figure it out because, I mean, obviously I hadn't watched many uh, Mississippi State games before, but the whole time I'm thinking, what is that sound? And they panned over the crowd and I kind of put it together. But, yeah, if that was in our stadium, I, I'm sure we would, uh, like, have some kind of seismic reaction or something. Uh, <laughs> I mean, when you uh, line up, the other 10 guys, for the most part, are new guys compared to last year. Mm-hmm. Um, the production that you guys have had on offense, does, does it surprise you given all the new pieces? And how, how much better can you guys get? Um, not really, because I, I knew through the off season that we were going to be that we were going to be powerful and we were going to have a lot of weapons and we were going to have chances to put a lot of points on the board just because of everything that we've done in, in, in the off season and the way that we looked and stuff. So I knew that it probably may take us a while to start clicking like we are now, but I'm, I'm glad that it is. And, uh, and we, I mean, there's always room for improvement. I, I'll never say that myself or us as a team is a finished product, you know. So the the, the constant improvement and, 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 and things of that sort are kind of what drives us and, and what uh, pushes us forward. What specific um, things can you do to get better as a, as a unit? As a unit, I mean, shoot, there's there's everything. I mean, on, on offense, we got to try to make sure that we're capitalizing in the red zone. Um, we had a few times uh, last week, I'm not sure, but I know the week before we had a few times where we, we got stalled in the end zone. And granted, we're putting up a lot of points, but at the same time, I mean, there's 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 little small things that we can do we, personally and as a team. And just uh, just making sure that we're all focused to the same goal at the end of the, uh, then, at the, end of the day. Uh, Tom just Tom Herman just said in the other room that you're the most complete, versatile receiver on the team, and he thinks that that versatility and your ability to block and everything is going to lead to a productive NFL career. Mm-hmm. Um, what is it that you think you do the best to have always cemented yourself as somebody who's always on the field? And what's it like hearing that? Well, first, it, it's it's it, it feels really good to hear that. But on the same time, like I've I, I've always kind of taken the approach that I want to try to know as much as possible, especially on the football field and and really in life in general. So when when I first got here, I, I kind of took it upon myself to learn as much as I can. And then once I learned what I had on this play, then I tried to learn what everybody else had. And then once I tried to learn what everybody else had, I kind of wanted to know what the quarterback had, or I wanted to know what defenses. And then I, then I wanted to know what kind of different plays are better suit different coverages and, and, and vice versa. So, I mean, it's just, 
I've always kind of had a, a want for knowledge, and especially in football, because I mean, I love football. It's been it's been my whole life, pretty much. I mean, from the beginning, and and it's just I don't know. I, I would definitely say my 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 want for knowledge of the game, my my football IQ is kind of what's driven me to become so successful, I guess. At the same time, there's so many, I think I've asked you this before, but there's so many weapons on this team. Mm-hmm. That, you, know, and you know, all the names that get brought up when talking about the playmakers. But you're a receiver. Mm-hmm. You want the ball. Right. I mean, what's it like? I mean, are there times where it's tough where you're not getting it? I mean, granted, you have it the last few games. You got mm-hmm. the end zone and we're at the goal line in the other one. But is it tough kind of being in a shuffle a little bit? I mean, it's it, 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 it comes with its... Uh, it, it, it comes with this, I guess, difficulties. But at the same time, I mean, I, my number one goal is to win, and 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 I'm I'm the be- I'm the most competitive person I know. And at the end of the day, if whatever I have to do to make our team win, I'm going to do it. And whether that means that I touch the ball 100 times a game, or it means I touch the ball zero and I got to secure the edge, then I got to do what I got to do, because I get the most pleasure from winning football games, and so does our entire team. And really, that's kind of what the mantra that we've taken from the the entire season. We have so many weapons in the receiver room specifically, and and we're okay with the with the way that we're running things because of the fact that we know that it's going to help us win football games. Everybody's going to be fresh out there, and everybody's going to be have a clear mind when they're out there because they know they got to do whatever they can to win the game, and they know that five other brothers in the receiver room are going to do the same. Was it nice to get the zone, yeah, it was pretty nice. <laughs> are, there, are there other receivers that you look at and, and say, "I wish I could do that as well as he does it on this team"? Um, I mean, yeah. There's 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 certain things that all of us do that that, that, we, that we wish. I mean, Dontre's so elusive, Jalen's so elusive in his strength, and Devin's so, his top end and his ability to track the ball. Mike, I mean, his ability to go get the ball. I mean, I can name, I can name something about everybody. I mean, we're all so we all have things that we're really great at, and and I think that's kind of what what has prompted our success this year. I mean, we've we've been really successful in the receiver room, but we still have a long ways to go. But at the same time, we're we're all so good at at, at certain things that it's with all of us going it's you get to kind of see everything you know what i mean mm-hmm. so i don't know it's just it's, it's fun to look at Evan, how much uh, has question. the uh, tempo you guys have been able to play at helped with the offensive success how much does that that pace uh, get you guys in a rhythm i mean tempo in its in its entirety really is is, is kind of getting in a rhythm once you get that first first down it's all downhill from there and if, if, if you can trap the defense on the field then it, everything's to your advantage you get them tired you get those those big rush guys that trying to rush the passer after eight, eight, nine, eight plays, whatever it is, I mean, they, they get tired and then they're not rushing as fast. So, I mean, tempos we've used to our, our advantage tremendously. And it, it's just from a fatigue aspect of the defense, it's it's so beneficial for us. And, um, I mean, I don't know. I, I like it. Granted, I mean, we're, we're tired out there yeah. too, but uh, mm-hmm. I mean, we, we're used to doing it every day. So, we're, we're, we're kind of uh, trained for it, I guess. Can following up on that, this? following up on that, uh, how much different is the offense this year with JT running the show? We want to, you know, you want you want to think that either he or Braxton would be running the same offense. Mm-hmm. But how much? Um, what's different about it from your vantage point? I mean, from an offensive standpoint, we're still running the same plays. I mean, I we're, that, we're, yeah. we're still getting to the same concepts. I mean, they're they're different players. I mean, uh, Braxton's incredibly elusive and and is incredibly with the ball in his hands in space. I mean, I, I think. From my, from the time I've gotten here, I've never met a person that could tackle Braxton one on one in the open field. Mm-hmm. But I mean, at the same time, JT's an incredible leader. You know, he's he's, he's incredible at knowing where the ball's got to go and when to put it there, and, and and using his strengths and 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 using the things that he knows that he has to do to his benefit. And then we've really prospered from that. And and I think that um, we're going to continue. Being an older player, though, how long did it take? For you to buy into JT, if you understand what I mean, oh, as a leader, me not, I mean, trust I mean, me, not yeah, long at all. Explain there's, it. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's, there's been multiple times where JT stepped up and, and and really took on a leadership role. I mean, whether if it's in, in pregame before the game, and we knew we had to come out fast, and right before we broke to to go take the field, he stopped the whole offense and and was out there and making sure everybody was all right, looked everybody in the eye. And I mean, as an older player, that's awesome to see, yeah. you know. And, uh, what game was that, by the way? Was this was Maryland or? this was Cincinnati. Cincinnati. We 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 were trying to make a, a big focus on coming out fast. And yeah. and when he stopped the whole offense and grabbed everybody and looked everybody in the eye and like, look, we got to do this. We're going to do it, and then we're going to get the win. I thought that was really cool to see from him. And and he he built it on that Maryland, and I'm assuming he's going to keep building on it from now on. Could you? Yeah. I got to get him on it. I got to okay. get him on it. Thank you. Thanks, Evan. Yep. Thanks, Evan.